Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and work with resizing a profile picture. So as you can see, this is a profile picture that a user uploaded on our Instagram clone. Now when I open it up here, you can see that it still has its full width and quality. And when I save this to my PC, it still has its full width and quality as I said earlier. But what we want to do is go ahead and compress this picture because it's it's just like an identity it's not like um this one over here that needs to be in its full quality it's just like a profile picture so we don't need the full quality um picture itself to be showing up because we want to optimize our website and make it fast when we are produce when we are when we're going on production okay so the first thing that we need to do is simply go to go ahead and open up our models.py in the OT app we're going to open up models.py okay and what we're simply gonna do now is okay firstly i'm just gonna get get rid of all this for now or let me just push them down like that okay and i'm gonna get rid of this i already had this from from the upper video okay so you want to import some things you want to you want to import um from pill you want to import img this is it over here and if you don't have pillow make sure you go ahead and install pillow by saying pip install pillow on your command prompt so when you install pillow you also want to import settings and you want to import os okay so that's all you want to do but for now we'll still be using only pill so let's just go ahead and start working out with it so i'm gonna push this down so i have some room to work here so i'm simply gonna say define save and this is an override method then this is simply gonna um override the 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 image that we get uploaded to our website so i'm gonna say quags and args just like that keyword argument and i want to pass in super just like that and i'm gonna say dot save so i'm gonna save it and in here too you want to pass in args and quags okay so args and quags just like that make sure that there's a double asterisk or you're gonna get an error so after this now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and define a size so i'm gonna say size should be equal to 300 by 300 so any image that's going to be uploaded is going to have 300 by 300 um width and height okay and after that i want to check if self dot picture so firstly to check if there is actually a picture now what do i want to do i want to go ahead and i i could just say image and i'm going to say image dot open okay image dot open so remember we imported um from Peel, we imported image so that's what we are using here now so we're gonna say image dot open just like this I want to open self dot picture dot parts okay then after we open up self dot picture dot parts what else do we want to do we want to go ahead and say image dot thumb dot thumbnail dot thumbnail and what we want to pass in there is the size you remember we created it above and we also want to pass in image dot lang just follow along with what i'm doing lang zos like this okay then after this we want to go ahead and save it so we're going to say image dot save and we're going to pass in self dot picture dot part okay so with this now let's see if our server is still running or if we have an error we don't have any error yet i'm gonna refresh this still working fine but this time around i want to go ahead and edit my profile and i'm gonna upload a new profile image okay so right now this image is um okay let me actually look for a more higher one so as you can see this one is a 2 mb image so i'm gonna copy this one i'm gonna put in my first name destiny franks whatever whatever i'll put in my url there put my bio graphics designer and i'm gonna update my profile so let's see what just happened okay so um what i want to do is put in my url like this and you're gonna make sure that is httpp h http at the front i'm gonna add in my address and all that i'm gonna add in this and i'm gonna choose the image again and hit update profile so you say his profile has no attribute picture okay let's see maybe i think i used picture okay this is supposed to be image dot okay it's image that i used over here so i'm gonna come over here and put put an image so i told you it was picture that i used now i'm gonna refresh this again and as you can see now 
we updated our profile okay guys with that being said that's one of the ways of reducing the quality of an image now i want to show you guys another way so you're simply going to define an image image variable and i'm going to pass an image dot open i want to open up self dot image dot parts okay so i want to open up this image that's uploaded over here now what i want to do is check if if image height is greater than 300 and if image width is greater than 300 i want to define an output size so if they are greater than 300 i want my output size to actually be 300 itself so you remember from the last one we set size and set it to 300 it all does the same thing just showing you guys two ways that you can use to do it now what we simply say is image dot thumbnail and we pass in output size and we say image dot self self dot image dot parts as simple as that now when we come over here and refresh this this should still be working fine now i'm going to try updating this profile again let's see if this actually works this time around so i'm going to put in all this i'm going to put in my bio and i'll put in my my url and i'm going to hit update profile so now we update profile we updated the profile so i'm going to open this up this image in a new tab and what do you notice the quality has been reduced and the size has been reduced so if you take a close look at this image now let's head over to where we uploaded the image so i'm going to come over here i'm going to come over to media I'm gonna come over to user one. I hope this should be it, right? Okay, I don't think that's it. Let's check our profile pic. No, that's not it. Let's check our profile picture. Um, I can't seem to find it. Let's see, let's see. I definitely need to get the the image so I'll show you guys that the quality has been reduced. Okay, um, I don't think it's anywhere here, but pro I'm very, very sure that you can see that the quality reduced. Let me just put this in my desktop. And when you hover on this, what do you see? You see it's trained 3.9 kilobytes, but initially it was 2.2 MB. So this is the perfect way of resizing images in Django. Very easy. Hopefully you guys understood what this code did. If you didn't understand, let me go ahead and explain it again. We did image should be equal to image.open. So image just open is simply going to open up the uploaded image. So it's simply going to open up maybe this image that we uploaded over here. That's simply what it's going to do. Then we opened self.image.parts. That's opening up this image, just doing something like this. That's it. So that's what this line is going to do. Then we checked if the height of the image, which is from here to here, if it's greater than 300 and the width, which is from here to here, is greater than 300, then what we simply did was define the variable output size this is the size that we want them to be that was set it to 300 by 300 then we say image does thumbnail should become the output size so thumbnail is like a built-in method that's the image package that we imported have so we said image then we'll call the thumbnail method and we add in output size that we define over here then we went ahead and saved the image so i think that's pretty much it it's way 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 easy and i'm sure you understood everything this was how it was looking before really 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 high and this is how it's looking now optimized okay so um i think that should do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and learned something new and if you did don't forget to drop a like consider subscribing and also drop a comment if you have any issue and maybe you are getting an error or you don't understand something i'm always there in the comment section to help debug your questions errors issues whatever i'll be there just drop a comment and i'll be there so i hope i'll see you guys in the next video for now i'd love peace out